God has always had a people. People who are blood-bought, born again, separated and free. People who are not for sale. People who are sound and sin of the circumference. People with consciences as steady as Gibraltar's mighty rock. God has always had a people who will stand for the right even if the heavens totter and the earth fades away. People who will look the world straight in the eye and tell the truth. People with courage without denying it, holding his convictions without shouting it. People in whom the strength of everlasting life flows deep and strong. People who know their message and tell it, know their place and fill it, know their business and attend to it. God has always had a people. Sure, some have misunderstood the church, like Simon the magician, they have failed to realize that God's Holy Spirit is not a blessing to be bought, but an experience to be received. Others have maligned the church. Through their noisy unbelief, they've tried to write God's epitaph, spread a false rumor that God is dead. But God's not dead. He's alive. He's been expelled from our public classrooms, forgotten in our homes, and even ignored in some of our churches. But he is not dead. Many today doubt their beliefs and believe their doubt and have succumbed spiritually. Many have fallen, but many have stood to testify and have come forth as pure gold. And yet through it all marches on that mighty army of truly free people, God's people. On through the ages and into this 20th century they march. The church, God's church, it's alive and well. Let the church. Christian, be filled with fresh 